all right so this is my new place i never get lights anyways um so this is the letter of invitation for tomorrow's hearing in the house of representative by 12 o'clock so those some people are invited mona come more turn up most turn that place but anyway that's not the point now so tomorrow they want to do the hearing so that they will know the involvement of efcc where they say they collect 15 million naira, according to the voice of from Bobriski, they collect 15 million naira to drop money laundry charges one which is a very big corruption if eventually it becomes true and number two the involvement of the correctional facility where is they made a carry bob risky go prison they go give him one lodge now if you remember earlier today bob risky sued me one billion you know why they did that they were expecting me that i'll say hey when i don't sue me oh yeah i'll go drop the part two as they see say i no great drop part two they go delete it go delete them from me page you understand you people think i am familiar with this game now but anyways now let me now drop other evidence you understand mokuna just i take small for the time you could enjoy this evidence <laughs> all right thank god he openly confessed to the to the judge that tried her at the magistrate court how or him accommodation that is provided for all male are they going to bring Idris with a transgender body look to go and sleep in the general cell with general prisoners? Is a transgender transsexuality? No, but he. he no, but he's better as a man. Ah, hey, but uh, what of our body picture? Now they now say, okay, how do we do it? They now say, okay, let us give him a special place. It is like that in the prison. They call it for protective custody because they will tear him to pieces because of our body of his body look. He looks like a woman. He, he he moves like a woman. So for her to go to any cell, there are chronic homosexual inmates that are very hungry to go to any length to tear anybody. All right, so basically, this man don't give us reason why they give Bob Risky a special place. Now, if you look at his reason, even though he also admitted that Bob Risky told the judge that he identified as a man, where go supposed to make them put out for male prison, he said, but because of Bob Risky bodily features, you understand, it can't be like woman, so they can't give him a special, give him a special prison. And according to Ram, the reason why they give him a special prison is because of, say, they get chronic homosexual. <laughs> So they're not grateful Bob Risky with men. Do you understand? Now, let me play Bob Risky part in the interview with Bayou for Curiosity Made Me Ask, that Bayou show. Let's play this. Next question. Did you spend your time in KDK in the male or female prison? Hmm, that's deep. That's deep. Ooh, that's deep, or... <sighs> why, why is it deep? <laughs> That's deep. I can't. Um, I spent it. Oh shit! I spent it at the male correctional center. <laughs> Did you see how many minutes it took him to answer that one question? Hmm. Were you put in a male or a female cell? He said, "Hmm, that's deep. <laughs> That's deep. Hmm." <laughs> A male or a female? It took him almost one whole minute to answer the question. And finally, he now said male prison. Now, let me tell you the funniest part about this male prison. He now expatiated by saying that, ah, say, he even enjoy the male prison. I just told you I spent it at the male crushing and I love it. And I'll give you a reason why I love it. If they have given me to stay in the in the female correctional center. Mm? I want to have fun. I want to enjoy myself. While I was at the male correctional center, I was the only different people there, like the different person there. Different person. Ooh. So people were they're nice to me. They're showing me care. They're giving me stuff. They were being so nice. So if I had Meanwhile, that man, they talk, say, they no great poop or brisky for the male prison because they, they fear, say, homo, go tear in ash. Because those ones, where they did, they are chronic homo. 
You know, understand? They say this is the reason why they don't put on there and they can't give them a private place. Now, Bobriski, they tell us, say, enjoy staying with the male for inside cell. At the end of the day, when I go provide in cell mates, all the people when they with, they go come sit down, they go interrogate them one after the other. That's male cell where now Bobriski don't believe. That's in main cell. They go bring all the inmates for that cell. We go sit them down. They will carry them into the interrogation room. They go ask each and every one of them their accounts of when them and Bobriski chill. Like me, if you go to Koje prison, they will tell you the way where we go. As I go to the church area, I go to the mosque area. As I go sit down, as I go chill, I go check that guy where we say the Binance guy. I go check all this. I go to the hospital. I go to this one. I go to the, I check everywhere. So they will interrogate all of them where they will Bobriski. You people are playing with me. You will learn. You will learn. My beautiful people, fellow Nigerians around the world, this message is for everyone that loves Very Dark Man very well. As you guys know that today is a Monday and Very Dark Man is going to House of Bread. I want you all to pray and declare a word of protection. No evil eyes shall fall before this young man. And whatever the enemy is planning, they will be so disappointed today if they have planned for vdm to go inside so them they are the one going inside because this young man is fighting for the freedom of the poor people the people who don't have mouths someone who cannot fight for himself that is why vdm is fighting and is fighting for us so if you are nigerian around the world or you love very dark man your prayer point today should be back to sender. Anyone has done something wrong last night against this young man that for him to be fall victim today, let that evil arrow go back to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Because what he said in that video, he did not defame anyone. He was saying the truth and nothing but the truth. But you know the country we are living in. We are living in a place whereby only rich people, they know what to do. But the poor people, they will be oppressed. We refuse and reject the spirit of oppression. Anyone trying to oppress this young man, let God oppress them in the name of Jesus. All VDM around the world, you guys should pray very hard because the enemy is planning for downfall of this young man. Not only just downfall, they are trying to emulate him, but they will not succeed on that. You see this place is going, he will conquer. You see this place is going, his name will be more higher. VDM will be known around the globe and he will become a warrior and he will become a freedom fighter to the youth and to our generation, our children to come. All this thing he's doing, he's not doing it for himself. But the people will get power. Things say that their name. You see them, they are climbing. Their name will be rocked to the ground for the sake of VDM. So my beautiful people, I want you all to pray, honestly declare a word of prayer. Father Lord, I pray it and I declare in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover VDM with the blood of Jesus. No weapon shall fortune against him. As he's going that place, he will become out victorious. No evil people shall plan for him to fall. Whatever the enemy has planned against this young man, it will fall before him and all the people, their name will be fall to the ground. In the name of Jesus, I declare a word of protection upon you, VDM. You will go there and come out safe. No one shall stop you. Your light will shine and continue to speak the truth. Anyone that stands in your way, any evil person that stands in your way to cover up your good deed, let them be exposed in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will go with you. The Lord will be before you. It will be behind you. It will be around you. And nothing will happen to you. You will come out victorious one. And all the people who are thinking that you will go inside, they will be ashamed. So I want you guys to pray. I beg, pray. In your free time, pray. Today, all prayer should be upon VDM. Today, 
should be a day of VDM in your prayer, in your family prayer, in your altar prayer. Put his name there. May he be protected because evil people everywhere, they don't want this young man to leave. Many people are planning evil for him, but they will not succeed. So I say, let me tell this to my beautiful audience and also share the video for many people to see. Declare in your heart. You are the one know your heart and you are the one know the God yourself. Plead to that God to protect this young man because he was speaking the truth and nothing but the truth. And for people who are thinking that video must apologize <laughs> on I go see him, that apology or I wait until the kingdom come.